The Riddle Master of Moab, written by Ben Sion Spitz, narrated by Jennifer Cahen. Did you understand him? Rakar asked Petai as they walked away from the assembly. Usually, Moses is so direct, but this time I could barely comprehend what he was trying to say. To perceive the inner meaning is art, Petai said, requiring both wisdom and heart. Huh? Rekar looked blankly as they headed towards their tents. History is not as you observe, merely a guide that you serve. Sons of heaven, children of the earth, fast lose their way as they leave the hearth. You're worse than him. Speak plainly, man. Why the riddles? Rakar kicked a pebble from the dusty Moabite plain. Plain to understand, plain to forget. Depth tangles you and will not let. Drunk on wealth, leave their god. Sleep with strange gods, just a nod. Pain and punishment, natural cause. Do not understand his myriad laws. This is frustrating, Peitai. Your riddles are just giving me a headache. Just tell me what he said. Rikar kicked a fist-sized stone, sending it flying into the shin of a young boy. The boy ran off crying. Vengeance brings order near, great nations to disappear. Israel shall remain on hand, the remnant in its own land. Beware the pit at your feet, a hole you will surely meet. Petai, I've had enough. I can't walk with you any more. Rikar looked angrily at Petai as they walked through a regular terrain. True, careless Rikar, you shall trip, or to your small doom at least will slip. What? Rikar fell into a small crevice on his path, banging his shin and crying out in pain. Petai, why didn't you warn me? Warning given, but unheeded. Moses' riddles deeply needed. Fall again and fail your encounter, if his poems you do not decipher. Petai offered his hand to help Rakar out of the hole. Rakar grabbed it and stepped out of the crevice. Is there hope for one unschooled? Rakar asked. For one by his own blindness fooled? Hope is eternal and will be your part, Petai replied. If truth you seek with open heart. This has been The Riddle Master of Moab, written by Ben Sion Spitz, narrated by Jennifer Cahen.